Let me tell you what you were required to do pursuant to your contract. You were required to get a vet. I did. I called the vet and I... No, I read your I answer. I spoke to the vet. I read your answer. And he gave me his recommendation. I read your answer. You don't get paid for that. You personally... For unless you paid it, Just a second. To a horse listen to me carefully. It's left at my property Listen to me abandoned. carefully. Unless the vet sent you a bill, you don't get paid for that. How do you... Did the vet send you the bill I'm for the... To I am speaking. Story. Just answer the question. Did the vet send you a bill <laughs> for the conversation that you had with the vet to tell you how to fix the injury, this large gaping hole in the horse's chest that happened while it was under your care? No. Did the vet tell you... The answer he is no. He gave me free so advice So 1584 less $325, which is actually what she owed you, which she didn't pay, which is one six. To, so far, $1,261. Then you do have to feed your horse. Yes, Your Honor. Yes. So how much does it cost for the horse's food for the nine months that the horse was there? It was $100 a month average for six bales of hay. For that, That's what my size horse consumes. Over the nine-month period, what did you pay for I paid for food? on average of $120 a month. Well, now it's from 100 to 120 Why don't we think again? How much did you pay for the horse's food for the nine months that the horse was there? 120 a month was for the hay. Fine. Less 120 No, I paid that, though. I paid that. She would give me, in she September? would tell me the amount. Just a second. In September? Uh, that's in her billing. Just a second. Uh, what that's billing? in her billing that she gave to me. Oh, I'm deducting oh. certain figures. I'm deducting from what you gave her, 1584 okay. I'm deducting what you owe her, right. 325 for the boarding for the month of September. Right. You owe her $120 for food. I'm deducting that from the money that you gave her. This is your lawsuit. $60, Your Honor, because it would have been half the month. So far, $1,141 is what you're entitled to back from what she gave you. Because you're not getting paid for the vet, for you acting like a vet on a horse that was injured on your watch. Food and her monthly boarding for September. What else does she owe you? Grain, because I had to stop feeding the horse because it was losing weight. It was a stress. Had you, just a second. In the nine months that you had the horse there, other than September, did you ever feed the horse and bill her for grain? The she, answer is either yes. She brought the grain up until around July time frame. June, July, I started feeding the horse because she was no longer bringing food to Just it. a second. Food? I'm giving you hay, that's in your deal. And I gave you for the whole month, not just half of it. What I asked you was, had you ever previously billed her for grain? Before July, no, because no. she brought her okay. own. Okay, 1141, what else? The medical care, I flushed that wound three times a day. 1141, that's what you're entitled to, not $4,803. 1141, that takes off the food for the horse and the 325 that you owe her. Okay. It actually says in my contract that I'm entitled to bill for medical care I provide no, the if I have no, to. No, 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 no. It says that you are required to provide veterinary care. I gave by a veterinary vet care. Oh. Under veterinary advice. Are you, a, are you a licensed veterinary no, doctor? No, but my witness is a vet tech, and I went under her advice and the doctor's advice Good. on how to treat You don't get paid for that. 1141. Judgment for the plaintiff. Thank We're you. done. Why does our excuse when step out? If it were per horse and the tables were turned, I would have called another vet and another vet and another vet. She didn't contact me for a week after the horse was injured. Until I had that horse, the gapping wound. I texted her, I called her, I emailed her. Sealed up and cleaned up. I went way above and beyond. I learned a lesson I will never board at a private backyard facility. Take care of your animals and go visit them when you're supposed to. And certainly not through one I find on Craigslist.